Hi, Julie Jules Cruise Companion. Over the last week or so, I've done a couple of videos again about intermittent fasting and can you do carnival on a cruise ship. And I have to say, after 10 nights or 9 nights, about to be my 10th night, on Carnival Splendor, I've fallen off the wagon. I feel really bad, bloated. Um, I'm going to do some reflecting on what achievement I had made on the three or four months before I got onto this boat and how one week, 10 days, has basically destroyed me and I now have to uh, get back on the wagon and I basically start all over again and pull myself together. <music> thing is that I have to remember that not all calories are created equally and with that nutrient dense food the calories that I am getting from that actually are going to be delivering more nutrients more amino acids more vitamins etc that my body can utilize where if you were just eating those empty calories either through alcohol or sugar or you know ice cream you know all of that indulgent stuff and I can feel actually a couple of times when I've had really sugar highs I could actually feel it happening and because I was more conscious of it because I hadn't had that experience for such a long time three or four months and I could actually feel like I was getting a buzz I thought you know that you may experience if you had consumed alcohol for example but I hadn't I'd only had sugar and so the receptors in my brain those pleasure hedonistic receptors they were firing on all cylinders so I have to remember and go back to not always all calories are counted equal one thing that I've been doing actually really quite successfully is remembering that hunger doesn't kill you. I haven't actually been hungry on this entire 10 days, even though I intermittent fasted on probably five of the days where I didn't consume anything from about eight o'clock at night um, until uh, 11 or 12 midday so I did do a couple of longer fasts with shorter eating windows but over the whole time uh, 11 nights I would have probably done 50 50 and I did some pretty big eating windows and what I have consumed in those eating windows has been horrible and I can really feel it in my back in my knees I still think I'm sleeping okay and my head's pretty okay but I'm actually going to have to go back to feeling hunger, waiting for the ghrelin to kick in, to have the grumbles, and then wait a couple of hours after the grumbles happen by just dulling it down with water before I actually consume. And that'll get me back into those um, longer fasting times and shorter eating windows. With being back on a cruise, it just reminded me about the instant gratification world in which we live. That hedonistic, um, quick fix, um, high sugar, high, you know, just taste, the, the cakes, the ice cream, the desserts. You know, I'd often say that I didn't want dessert. I just order a main meal and it is just an automatic assumption that you're going to eat something from the um, starters, entree and dessert menu where, you know, I just wasn't hungry, but I was just eating because I was being social. So heading back home, I'm going to go away from that instant gratification environment that cruising and holidaying offers and that's through choice I'm actually I mentioned this before I'm actually craving just to go back to eat the straight carnival and just eat what I want to eat rather than what is being offered to me being on this cruise I am reminded of myself that obesity is a disease of abundance there has been not a moment of want in this entire 10 days there has been food from six o'clock in the morning five o'clock in the morning till two or three at night it just 
never ends that there is some form of food available to you and it's not necessarily nutrient dense food it is often um, high sugar uh, high fat highly processed food and being such an avid cruiser and living this lifestyle for so many years now it really has hit me this trip that with overconsumption, that obesity is just driven by corporate greed and government complicity. So I have bought into that over the 46 cruises that I have done and the many holidays that I have done. And it is just corporate. I am just paying in for a corporation to make a profit and my health and welfare is not their top priority. I have to take back that control for myself. And so that's why I suspect that my cruising career is coming to an end. I will get probably to my 50th cruise, but then I will not make much of an effort after that, I suspect, over the next couple of years to continue cruising. Working in healthcare, I can actually see that public funded health, government health, is not going to be able to keep up with the diseases of overconsumption, with the diseases um, such as diabetes, arthritis, uh, cor coronary artery disease, etc. So the government is actually going to have to take some control over the things that are making the population unwell and for example the increase of diabetes and obesity leading to other poor health outcomes in, instead of just burying their heads in the sand in some way so you know we as individuals have to take responsibility for ourselves, but if the government doesn't assist us by um, making sure that there is enough whole food uh, producers around, that um, mass produced, overproduced, or multi processed, mega processed food and food like substances, you know, are the only thing that's available to us when all we actually probably need is. The basic food, the meat, the butter, the cheese, the vegetables that are grown and not processed. In my position as a general person, I cannot actually see any way forward that the government is actually confronting the root cause of the increase in obesity, the increase in diabetes, the increase of coronary heart disease or coronary artery disease. These preventable diseases. I just cannot see it and I don't know how as an individual I can influence that other than influencing myself. So when I finish this cruise I will go back to being as carnivore as I can, trying to consume whole foods and if the government will not ban ultra processed foods or food like substances I'm going to have to ban them for myself ban them out of my life, out of my circle, if I can't influence what the government can do to assist me in making better food choices, I'm going to have to do it myself. And within my own sphere of influence, I'm going to have to ban them and just not participate if the event involves that kind of thing. It's going to have to be a conscious choice and conscious decision because I just could not continue the way that I was, I've fallen off the wagon, completely admit that, have consumed alcohol, etc. So I know that I have to get a grip on myself, tighten myself up, especially over the next 150 days, see if I can match what I've done in the previous 150 days. This is Julie Jules Cruise Companion, having a bit of a chat about <laughs> diets, foods, cruising, influences of cruising, things that I'm going to have to change in my life so that I can take a little bit more control so I can be healthier to live longer. This is Julie Jules Cruise Companion saying stay safe everybody and happy travels. Mm -hmm.